Good morning, or should I say morning? It's uh, Tim here once again. Uh, a view from the South Stands. I'm coming to you on Thursday morning after Toronto FC's fireworks enabled victory last night uh, against the Montreal Impact, which wasn't a victory, of course, uh, because the Reds are out of the Voyager's Cup for another season. Uh, it's going to be between Montreal and uh, the winner of Vancouver Edmonton. And uh, that means that the earliest that Toronto FC is going to be able to get back to the Champions League is going to be 2017. So, uh, to prep for this video, because uh, I've got a bit of a rant I want to get on in a second, but to prep for this video, I went and I took a look at what Greg Vanny had to say in the post-game comments last night. And here's what he said. The task last night was to win the game and to find some urgency in home play. I actually wrote it down. It's what he said verbatim. The task was to win the game. No, the task wasn't to win the game. The task was to win the freaking tie. It was to get enough goals and keep enough goals out so that you could advance into the finals of uh, the Voyager's Cup, a trophy that means a lot to me personally, uh, a trophy that means a lot to a lot of your most dedicated fans who've been there through these dark, dark days. And when I got home last night, I was I was pretty furious. Not just about the uh, uh, the manner of how we went out, but the fact that some tone deaf, uh, idiotic, incompetent person or persons at BMO Field decided that you know when the game was over, Zavaleta was uh, uh, beaten on the beaten on the near side. Uh, Oduro of all people scored the goal for Montreal to put them through. At the end of the game, some, some tone-deaf idiot decided to say, oh yeah, let's let up some fireworks because we won the game. We didn't win squat. We didn't win anything. And, and I don't think I've left the stadium more irate and furious than I was last night with, with, with that sort of piece of incompetence just to be an icing on top of the, uh, an icing on top of the cupcake, so to speak. But I think what gets me most about all of this is, is how the team hasn't taken this competition seriously. If you look at last night's result on its, on its face, there were some good things, granted. Uh, uh, and the good things were the three designated players who all played. Uh, Bradley, I think, had some of his best moments of the season. Uh, Altidore scored uh, an absolutely beautiful goal. Javinko, another beautiful goal, another setup for Altidore. Uh, Sheru looked pretty decent. Uh, I like the fact that uh, 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 Jonathan Osorio uh, really took the bull by the horns and, and stepped up, considering that he actually looked pretty decent uh, when he came on in the second half of the Houston game on, on Sunday past. So there were some good things that I actually saw. What, uh, uh, what really sticks in my craw more than anything, of course, is the 1-0 last week in Montreal that uh, allowed Montreal to squeak through on the away goal, goal rule last night and uh, uh, Vanny obviously didn't take the game seriously in Vancouver and I don't think he would have played the people that he played yesterday in Toronto if the team hadn't shit the bed, excuse my language, so bad on Sunday. The task was to win the game. That's all that Vanny said. The task wasn't to win the, tro uh, to win the, the tie, the task was to win the game and he's like, yeah, we won the game. Good move on to the next one. What he doesn't seem to understand is for the people in those stands, the people that have been here long before he showed up, after the novelty wore off, after 08, let's say, and, and, and the reality of, of the fact that we were cheering a, a really, really horrible football club kind of set in, the only thing that really sustained the hardcore support for this team was the Voyager's Cup and the aforementioned Champions League. Whether it be the Montreal Miracle, whether it be the, uh, uh, the victory against Cruz Azul at home, a horrible TFC side beating the Mexican champions at home, whether it be uh, the rainout game uh, uh, against Dallas in the group stage where we had to play the game the next morning and hundreds of us called in sick and went to the game in the morning to watch, the, watch TFC play in the Champions League, whether it be the 50,000 people that filled the Rogers Center uh, for the uh, quarterfinal against the LA Galaxy, take your pick. All of those moments were, were, were fabulously special moments that sustained 
a lot of the love and a lot of the passion that people had for this team. Excuse me, the dog is going crazy here. But now that's gone. We haven't had the Voyagers Cup in three years. Uh, the way that the tournament has been changed right now means that the earliest that TFC can get back to the Champions League right now is going to be 2017. And, and this team has won three and lost six games. Uh, they've shipped, uh, I think, what, 11, 13, 15 goals uh, in uh, nine games so far this season. So they're shipping almost two goals a game. Uh, yeah, they're scoring goals, but boy, oh boy, they're not going to even be a decent team, let alone a playoff team, uh, if they can't find a way to resolve things at the back. And as it stands right now, all of this is on Mr. Greg Vanny, the head coach. He played as a defender, for God's sake. How can you not find a way to keep things solid at the back and let your creative players create? Now, I know you need to be a little more aggressive at home, and, and, and to their credit, the DPs in particular were a lot more aggressive last night. But you have to find a way to tighten up at the back or this team is not going to do a goddamn thing again this year. One, one final thing that I want to mention is uh, uh, the lineup last night. And as I mentioned a couple of times to this point, the, uh, the designated players all played. Uh, and if you remember my last rant in this space, uh, Javinko and Altador didn't even travel to Montreal. The only reason why those three players played last night was not because of some recently found affection for the Voyager's Cup or, or, or even caring about the tournament because again, Vanny said it in his own words, all he wanted to do was to win the game and to show some urgency in the home play. Those are his words, not mine. They did that, yes, but they wouldn't even have played those guys had they have won the game against Houston on Sunday. If they didn't shit the bed, excuse my language, so bad on Sunday against the Houston Dynamo in the home opener, there's no way that these guys would have played last night, period. Because the team doesn't give a good goddamn about this trophy and this competition, something that's sustained the support for this team for a long, long time. I just couldn't care less right now about this team. I'm just so frustrated. Uh, yes, I'll be, uh, you know, grudgingly watching the away game uh, in New England uh, on uh, Saturday evening. And, and yes, I'm going to be at the, uh, the, the game on the 23rd uh, against Portland. I've got some friends from Newfoundland, from the Newfoundland Labrador Soccer Association, actually coming in uh, uh, to watch the game next, uh, uh, next Saturday. Not this Saturday, but Saturday next which is the next home game. But until then, I'm not going to give a good goddamn about this team because I feel so betrayed and let down by, uh, by the entire organization last night. And the icing on the cake was those bloody, bloody fireworks. If I could have just gotten my hands on that guy, I would have throttled him. I was so frustrated. It's just so stupid and tone deaf. Yeah, we won the game. Let's light the fireworks, right? That's exactly what Greg Vanny is saying. No, it's not about that. It's about winning trophies. It's about respecting your fans. It's about respecting the competitions uh, that you're in. Uh, it's about winning. Uh, and it's about you as a head coach, Mr. Vanny, finding a way with the pieces you have or with you, Mr. Bezbachenko, getting some new pieces in to stop letting in soft, bloody goals. There. Rant over. Thanks for watching. <laughs> have a great week. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.